Hello and welcome to the Client Dispute Manager software video series. In this video, let's go deep into the dispute process for the credit bureaus. So I'll be showing how you're going to navigate and use the software, especially if this is your first time disputing or using a software. I'll show you how easy it is. Let me introduce you to the Dispute Manager screen. This screen is where you do everything about disputing. This is where you can import a credit report directly. This is where you also create your disputes. This is where you track the disputes and this is where you update the results. So let's go ahead and break down the dispute process for the credit bureaus right now. So first you want to go ahead and import a credit report in the software. You want to go ahead and click on the import report tab. Now before you go ahead and import, you want to make sure that your customers sign up for credit monitoring. These are the credit monitoring companies that are compatible with the software. After your customer signs up for credit monitoring with the 3B report, your customer needs to provide you with their username, password, last four digits of social or secret word. This is for you to be able to access the quick import button. Now once you're done with the steps and you're ready to import your customer's credit report, go ahead and click on the quick import button. So this is where the software will import the customer's credit report. Just wait for the process to complete. Once the process of importing is done, you're going to see that the credit report would load on the screen. This is where the software would organize all the data for you. Just go ahead and scroll through the report where you can go through personal information, public records, negative accounts, and inquiries. For the public records and negative accounts, it would already be selected for you. So all you need to do is just scroll down to the inquiry section for you to be able to manually select the inquiries that you want to import into the software. I'm not going to be able to demonstrate it right now because there are some sensitive information. But once you go through the process of importing a credit report, go ahead and feel free to scroll through the report. Once you've confirmed all the items that you want to import, when you import the data, all the negative items and inquiries would be pulled to the add item screen, which is the next tab right here. On the item screen, you'll find that all the items are neatly arranged. So if the credit report has late payments, collections, charge-offs, or inquiries, then you would already have a list available under the add item screen. So that's how quick and easy it is to import a credit report. So let's go ahead and continue and prepare these items. Let me go ahead and show you how you're going to put the items on in dispute. But before that, let me go ahead and explain what in dispute means. In dispute is a status that tells the software that these are the items that you want to dispute. Now what's cool about this is you can go ahead and choose if you want to dispute all the items on your add item screen or you just want to choose which items you want to work on first. So what you want to do is on your list of negative accounts and inquiries, you want to go ahead and click on the green dispute button if you want to put that item on in dispute. Once you're done putting your items on in dispute, you can now go ahead and move to bureaus for you to start building your dispute. Now under the bureaus tab, this is where the magic happens. Watch me go through a few simple steps to create a dispute for the bureaus. First, let's start with the furniture dropdown. This is where the software arranges all of the items that are in dispute. So you can either start from the top of the list or you can freely choose which items you want to work on first. So let's go ahead and do the top of the list. Once you select the item that you're disputing, the rest of the information of the item like the account number, account type, balance, and which credit bureau the item is showing up on, this would automatically populate. So you can go ahead and move to the next field. And that's going to be the dispute reason section. You can go ahead and select a reason from our pre-made reasons drop down or you can go ahead and click on custom reason so you can manually type in the reason that you want to use. Once you have a reason for this item that you're disputing, you want to move to the next field which is instructions. Same process, we have our pre-made instructions from the drop down or you can click on custom instruction if you want to type in your own instruction. Once you have the instruction that you're going to add to the dispute letter, it's time to go ahead and choose your letter template. Now don't worry, choosing a letter template is simple and straightforward. You'll see these three categories right here. This is if you're going to use the software templates. Now what if you have your own letters and you don't want to use the letters in the software? It's simple. You can go ahead and add your own manual letter. You can go ahead and add a manual letter directly from here. Or you can go to company, go to letter vault and add your manual letter. Now once you've added your manual letter, Selecting that letter to use for the dispute is very easy. All you need to do is just put a check mark on manual letter and that's going to give you access to the manual letter drop down where you can choose your own letters. Now what if you don't have your own letters? Go ahead and use the letters that we have in the software. So let's talk about these three categories. First you have dispute flow. If you're new to disputing and you don't know what letter to choose, dispute flow would be your best friend. Dispute flow is a sequence of letters. You just need to start from letter 1 and work your way down to letter 6. Next you have campaign letters. Campaign letters are account type specific letters. So if you're working on a certain account type, let's say collections, you can go ahead and choose a letter from here. Now for campaign letters, each letters will be different. 
Now unlike dispute flow, campaign letters are not in sequence. Campaign letters would give you different letters with different verbiages. So how do you know what letter to choose? All you need to do is just select the letter and then you can click on the eye icon to preview the letter template. So all you need to do is just choose the letter that works for your dispute. Hi there, we're giving you a free gift. You can get 20 powerful dispute letters just by clicking on the link below this video. You're going to see a screen just like this and all you need to do is just fill out the form to get your 20 powerful dispute letters. Enjoy! And lastly you have general letters. General letters are scenario based letters. So if you can't find a letter to use under dispute flow or campaign letters, you can go ahead and look at general letters. Just look for the scenario that you have. You'll find letters for how was it verified, letters for no response, letters for request for verification, and letters for removing inquiries. Once you've selected your software letter template, if you wish to modify the letter, you can. You want to go ahead and preview the letter that you selected. And on the preview, you can go ahead and edit the letter directly. So if you want to add your own text or if you have a verbiage that you need to add to your letter, please feel free to do so. Just click on the edit button and this is where you can make your changes. Do you want to add images to your letter? No problem. You can go ahead and upload images right here. Just click on this button. And once you have your image uploaded, all you need to do is just click and drag the image to where you want it to show on your letter. And once you're satisfied with the changes, don't forget to save it. Now that you're done with selecting everything that you need to dispute this item, go ahead and click on add your dispute. And that dispute will show down here at the bottom. Now what about the rest of the items? So here's what's going to happen. Once you're done with the first item, the software will automatically select the next one so you can continue with your dispute. All you need to do is just follow the simple steps which is choosing your dispute reason and choosing the instruction. Do you want to add the next item to the same letter as the first item? Here's how you can do it. Just choose the dispute reason for the next item. Same with the instructions. The software is already locked in on that letter. So all you need to do is just add your next item to dispute. You want to go ahead and add more? Just continue the process until you have all the items that you want on that letter. Once you're good or you've created a dispute for all of the items, all you need to do is just click send to print. And this is where you can set the round that you're currently in. You can also choose the set. This is if you're disputing the items in batches. Let's say there's a total of 30 items that you imported and you want to go ahead and dispute the items in batches of 10. You can go ahead and put the first 10 on set 1, the next 10 on set 2, and the remaining 10 on set 3. This is for you to be able to easily manage those batch of items when you need to move to the next round. And then lastly, you have the follow-up letter due. These are the number of days that you're going to wait before you check for updates and results. That's when the software will notify you that the letters are due for follow-up. Once you're done, just click on save. The software has now generated your letters and is available under the bulk print screen ready for printing. Congratulations in successfully creating your dispute letter. Let me go ahead and show you how you can print it. Under the bulk print screen, this is where you'll find the letters that are generated. Now as you can see, everything is organized. You would have letters for each of the bureaus. So all you need to do is just go ahead and select the documents that you want to include when you print out the letters, like the ID, social, and proof of address. And once you're done, just click on the print button at the bottom so you can manually print out the letters and go to the post office to mail it out. Now can you automate this process? Yes you can. All you need to do is just integrate Letterstream which is a third party printing and mailing platform. And once you've integrated Letterstream and turned on the print automation, this is what you're going to see. You would have the one click print automation where instead of the print button at the bottom, you'd have sent to Letterstream. So all you need to do is just send your letters over to Letterstream and they're going to take care of the rest. They're going to print and mail out your letters for you. To know more about this print automation, just go to company and then from the drop down, just click on notify slash automation. And then under the notify slash automation screen, just go to one click print automation with letter stream and go ahead and start watching the videos to set it up. So go ahead and start creating your dispute letters and send them to the credit bureaus. And that concludes our training video. Hi there, we're giving you a free gift. You can get 20 powerful dispute letters just by clicking on the link below this video. You're going to see a screen just like this and all you need to do is just fill out the form to get your 20 powerful dispute letters. Enjoy!